This week's challenge is the Season 11B Challenge, that final set of episodes from the series. Let's see what's in store for us. Heist, find the bag. Well, Mercer is our star hero, and he's he's great. He's just a great hero. Hopefully this means that you can, you can have a really good run with this set of missions. I'm bringing Yumiko and Glenn here as well, just because it sounds like a kind of a sort of a searchy kind of mission. Don't know that it is, but um, we, we, we're going to bring him anyway, just for a bit of variety anyway. Let's open that and see what happens. Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one very, very well. Now. Oh, rats. So, don't rush forward. That's obviously a, a good little tip. Uh, I, I did so with Yumiko there, and look at that, we're getting we're getting ripped to pieces. Um, I do remember what you can do. There's no threat counter or anything. So what you can do is just kill everything, shoot it from the left side of the map. And what you can do, you can actually hide your guys next to that barrel and you can keep having somebody dress up in the goo and then the other then the zombies can't get to you if you post them right in front of the uh, right in front of the door they won't get to you these guys behind you obviously are a bit of a risk but you can still if if you have two people one person stood here so here and then the other two here and here and the guy stood here and here just keep dressing up in the goo no walkers can get to the character who is here so uh, I do have a little tutorial from an earlier run through of this a previous time when this mission came up uh, where I show that you know being carried out it works I can attest to the fact that it, can, it it does work. But this mission is arguably the easiest mission in all of the weekly challenges. Precisely because you can kind of cheat like that. You can absolutely make a mess of the, uh, uh, of the rules of the game to your advantage. Yes, sure you'll have the guys sort of in that middle room there. Certainly that little team that just appeared will appear in this left side, but if you're aware of them, they can't take surprise, take you by surprise. And if your people are positioned properly, they, they just can't get you. They literally cannot reach you. This is the easiest mission in all of, uh, uh, of all of the weekly challenges. You should always be able to beat that mission. Remember that you're going to always have to have at least one ranged character. I recommend it be Mercer, in fact, who is going to be hidden away, you know, shooting at everybody. But yeah, you'll have two ranged characters able to shoot the guys in the middle room with one person blocking the doorway by dressing up in goo. And then when those guys appear from your start position... You'll have two people dressed up in goo and one guy who's free to just take care of them. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna mix it up a bit. Let's have, let's have Rosie, shall we? Uh, let's give her the Makwawi as well, just because one of my daily challenges is to kill walkers with the bruiser. Um, I owe. Io, what are you doing? <sighs> Io's joining us like she usually does. She's being weird, I don't know why. <laughs> so, does this have any surprises for us? Io. Oh, rats, I just did that thing of... Um, Placing Yumiko without checking whether that guy was going to be pushed back. Something you never want to do. 
I mean, so far, this seems like a pretty standard kind of mission. Is it going to throw anything weird at us? I don't think so. It's a normal mission. You have a threat counter and you have some walkers in front of you. Obviously, as you go up in difficulty, you're going to get tougher walker types. You're probably going to get more of them. The threat counter is probably going to tick over quicker. The threat counter will start with war more walkers on the clock. You know, that kind of thing is going to happen. But that the actual mechanics of that mission seem very straightforward. Kill the walkers, get to the exit. And the important part is that get to the exit part. Um, uh, it doesn't state that you have to kill a set amount of walkers, so you could always just rush past them with the likes of Beta, uh, you know, characters like that. Killer walkers, take care of this. Which one is this? I, I like that this is a slightly challenging set of missions because I don't, I don't remember all of these off the top of my head. I don't remember the little surprises that they may have for us. Don't know if there's anything sort of special, but then that's why I do these videos, just so that we can see what's ahead of us. So, yeah, we've got a bundle of walkers in front of us, and it looks like there's going to be some that are going to appear as the mission continues. Any more for any more? Anybody else going to jump out at us? No? Okay, all right. Well, what do we got? We got some. Uh, we got some tanks. Got some regular walkers again. Okay, so that that that's fairly that's fairly straightforward. That's like a kill all walkers with a slight wrinkle that some walkers may or will appear after the was that the second turn that they popped up. But I mean, with Mercer as the lead, load up with ranged characters. Stay to the left of the screen where you start. And just pick them off from a distance. Shouldn't be too challenging. I've got to, I've got to remember as well. Those, uh, those silver tokens are popping up. I've got to get that um, survival pass. Get the platinum survival pass. I don't rate the weapon that you can win at the end, but you get so many tools, gold, uh, support tokens, stuff like that. It's, it's still definitely worth it. Fifteen quid. Definitely worth it. Kill the raiders and reach the exit. Okay, I'm gonna gonna mix it up a little bit. Let's have McGaggy. She is great for when you are going against non-normal enemies. Actually, to be fair, to be fair. I could have just stayed with Fighter Rosita because bruises are fantastic against humans. All right, I... That seems a little too simple. Okay, so some bad guys are going to appear. But we're out of there anyway. So finish off those humans quick enough and you don't need to worry about the walkers that are uh, clearly attracted by the gunfire and everything. Looks like if you do go to the to the right before you've taken out the humans, obviously the green strip that lets you escape won't be there and you could find yourself getting trapped by them. At the same time though, maybe those same walkers will be a, a sort of barrier between you and the humans. There might be ways to use them. Watcha, open the gate. Looks like we got some more humans. Let's... Bring our Rosie. What a team, eh? What a team. Yumiko, Mercer, Mercer, Rosita. This seems really fitting for a set of end of the show episodes. Kind of fits, doesn't it? Right now, I 
We're gonna we're gonna cripple those guys and then they can't reach us. Looks like Brucey there didn't fancy being crippled. But the walkers go first. And this is I mean I think I think that that's kind of an important thing to do right there. Is to let the walkers take care of the humans. One thing that we will be able to what what we can do maybe is let them just distract the humans. Once one of them is dead, they turn into snack food. Um, and then that kind of means that you uh, could perhaps open the door without any distractions. At the moment, you've got a lot of options because we're not on a, on a hard difficulty or anything. But if you could get to that gate straight away and start opening, that might be a really handy thing because you won't have to deal with those walkers on the left side of the screen. How are you going to do that? Just basically shove the human survivors between you and the walkers and hopefully the walkers will be so distracted by them you can just open that gate and get out of there. The whole mission is not to destroy as many walkers as you possibly can. It's to get out of there. As soon as you're opening that, that door, the clock is ticking. Something that's worth bearing in mind, of course, is if you have Yumiko on your team and she has stood near the person who is opening the door, if it's a ranged character, they will turn and shoot even while they are opening the door. So you're still getting some use out of them. I think that there's a lot of tactics that could perhaps be employed based on the principle of get that door opening straight away and just distract your opponents. Chuck flares, stun grenades maybe, anything like that. Especially when you on later missions and it starts getting really tricky, you might not be able to just mow your way through all of the enemies. Rescue the survivor and kill all of the walkers. Okay, I'll tell you what, we're gonna go with another theme appropriate character. Guardian Carol. Uh, let's give you that tactical. Let's get to it. So rescuing people, all that kind of stuff. Okay, there he is. So you're going to have to have something which is, is good enough to punch through a particularly tough walker type at the start to save that character. A stun grenade would work. It doesn't stun, you know, a tough walker type. It won't stun a tank, but it will shove them out of range, basically. And it will stop them attacking what they're attacking because, well, they can't reach it. Um, that can be a very handy, handy little tip. Rest of this looks like we have some uh, walkers appearing from unexpected places. So it's not quite a straight up kill all walkers once you have saved the hostage. Hostage. Victim. Whatever you want to call them. They're not really a hostage. More like a snack. Okay, I think ranged characters would be the way to go for that. Just because of the way that you can just play the AI, basically. Stay out of range, kill whatever's closest to you, let the others come to you, take them down. You know, that's the way you do it. Okay, uh, have we got one more to go? Nope, that's it. So there you go, that's all of the missions. This is a pretty, uh, a pretty interesting set. There's several missions there where you can use some specific tactics. You can outwit the mission, which is always very, very fun to do. Uh, it's always fun when you can go like, hey, yeah, I outthought that problem. Um, Mercer is a great hero to have as the star leader. And hopefully... You're going to get an absolutely fantastic score on this weekly challenge. If you do have any dramas, just let us know in the comments. I or somebody else will help you. And as ever, thank you very much for watching.